Hey, hey, friends. Uh, Rob Phoenix, Power Guy, with the weekly Power update from Saturday, uh, Sunday, May 14th through Saturday, May 20th. So May 14th is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there and all the dads and all the parents. Um, <clears throat> whether it's a human baby, a fur baby, or plant baby, whatever. Uh, happy Mother's Day. It's uh, This is like in South Central Pennsylvania, Mother's Day is basically the first day of summer um, because it is the last day of frost warning. Um, now, that has not been an issue here. As you can see, everything's in full bloom. Everything's lush and green and beautiful. Um, but yeah, so it feels like summer now. Um, that's how it's always been here. It's just as soon as Mother's Day comes around, it's summer. Now, I'm late with the weekly update. So Mother's Day was actually yesterday. Um, and we went out to... Uh, some of the garden stores and such jam packed. Everybody was out buying their uh, annuals, perennials, or you know whatever their mulch, whatever. Um, we can't do the mulch yet until our birch tree is done dropping seed. Uh, so right now it's kind of that part of the year where it's almost looks like it's snowing in our yard. It's these these little tiny seeds. Um, so once that's done, then we can mulch. Uh, we have a lot to mulch. Um, I noticed the lettuce and the beans are already coming up in the garden. Uh, that's really it right now, but that's okay. We just planted stuff, you know, a week or two ago. Um, Weather-wise, in the next week in South Central Pennsylvania, it is going to be pretty nice. It's going to be like today is in the uh, mid-70s, sunshine, gorgeous day. Um, I should have been at work today, but I took the day off and I kept Josani home too because we had so much to do and I needed his help. Um, we had a couple shrubs to rip out, a tree to trim, um, you know, and all that to like break up, cut up, rip down, bag up, put out for the trash because the trash gets taken tomorrow. So I really needed to get all that done today and I needed his help. So we both got kind of a day off of work and school, um, is what it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, 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 the weather is going to be pretty much seventies all week, uh, mostly sunny it looks like towards the end of the week there might be a little bit of rain but you know you kind of got to go day by day with the weather because everything can change so quick um let's see astrologically sunday we had the moon in uh pisces it was the waning moon um and now we're back at the the moon in aries which of course aries rules the head and the face then later on in the week it moves into taurus which is our throat our voice um and then it ends our week in the sign of Gemini, which is, of course, our lungs, our shoulders, our arms, hands, fingers. Um, so th these are the areas of the body that are highlighted this week for powwowing and such with. Um, let's think, what else was I going to talk about this week? Um, oh, oh, oh. So I started putting together some of my stuff for my uh, oils. I like to infuse oils at this time of year. Now I'll get I like to put them like sun infused. So what you do is you get your your herbal material that you want. You need dry herb, not not fresh herb. You need dry herb for this because you don't want the moisture. And you put them in a jar, pack the jar filled with it, mostly full, like three quarters full. Fill the jar with oil, set them out in your fence post for a few weeks. And that sun really like bakes in there and infuses that oil. Then you strain them and then you have that oil for use um, for cooking or, you know, salves or whatever. Um so now is the time to start doing that. Uh, and because you don't want fresh herb, you can get dried herb any time of the year. But this is a really good time to do it because the sun is really gaining in strength. So your oil really gets infused with that powerful solar, uh, uh, I don't know, radiation energy, I guess. I don't know. Um, so that's that. Um, in powwow news, my uh, the class I've been teaching is going well. Um, tonight we'll be focusing exclusively on astrology and how it's understood and used within the powwow tradition so that should be an interesting class um and then of course in two weeks i'll be in wilkes Bear at the uh, hermetic um conference doing a discussion about powwow so that's going to be really interesting um and that's really all that's coming up uh may is kind of a busy month for us just because we are doing a lot of work out here um and there's a lot of work going on in our neighborhood. So some of the streets and roads are closed because they're digging up uh, for water pipes or something. 
And so we've had a lot of traffic coming through our neighborhood, which is, it's unusual, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, now's a good time of year to get your dogs, uh, treat it for fleas and ticks, um, you know, start the treatment. Honestly, you could do that all year here, uh, but now we really got to up our game with that. Um, I haven't seen any ticks yet this year, but just be wary that they're out there. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what's going on there. Uh, I did do a card reading for a local lady who came. Um, she was kind of funny about it because she was expecting it to be a little more like mysterious and esoteric. And really, I just read playing cards. Crazy people driving to our neighborhood today. I hope they fix that road soon. <laughs> um, anyway, she thought there would be more to it, more mystical, more like uh, tarot card reading. And that's not how I do readings. I do readings with playing cards to see uh, what's the underlying issue. If somebody doesn't know, I do the reading and I tell them. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simplistic. There's nothing uh, magical or mystical or woo about it. Um, she seemed a little disappointed, but sometimes people, I don't know, I just found that sometimes people want to be like blown away by something magical or mysterious or whatever. Um, and that's not really the case with Pow Wow. That's not what we're trying to do. We're just trying to bring some healing, you know, give you some agricultural information, that sort of thing. Um, you know, so there you go. So this was a very, very, very short weekly update. And I apologize for that, but I've been super busy. It's just a really busy time of year. We're outside all the time now doing a ton of work. Uh, between that and the class I teach plus my job, um, it's just been a lot going on. So um, I'm going to end the weekly update here. Uh, but uh, check your almanacs, check your planetary guides for more in-depth astrological information. Um, I don't really have any powwow charms or anything to talk to you guys about because I, I have so much of that on my videos and website. Um, so if you need one, surely you can find something in one of my videos or on the website. Um, but if you have any questions, you know, just leave some commentary. I hope everybody has a great week. Um, I hope all of you parents out there had a happy Mother's Day. I hope you're all enjoying the beginning of summer in South Central Pennsylvania. Um, so there we go. I, I love you guys. God bless you all. And I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.